I got the gout. He's walking somewhere. So we got gout. We together have it. Damn you, fruit and meat. It's the combo, I tell ya. I would never get gout as a vegan. It only happens when I eat meat, but I mix it with the fruit. You, If you just eat the meat, you build up uric acid, but you, you store it. It heals you in some way, but when you try to get it out with a fruit cleanse, then it becomes crystallized and it hurts. So I've been eating fruit and meat for about three months, I would say. It's going so well that, like, I feel like this is the diet to carry us into the future, but then I get this pain in my big toe, and now I'm questioning everything. I'm like, okay, the sugar and the fat mix, you can't do that. So I'm debating a complete diet overhaul, and my theory might not even be right. I'm thinking fruit and fat bad. I've always said that, but now I'm experiencing it. I never thought this should work. High meat and high fruit. Eventually something's gonna go haywire. And it is. My big toe. It slightly hurts. It's time for a dramatic overhaul. I've been researching gout a little bit and uric acid, and there's a couple theories out there. One is insulin resistance can lead to fructose turning into uric acid type of thing. And so I feel like, okay, I'm eating lots of meat, causing insulin resistance, and I'm eating all this fruit, and then that is somehow increasing the uric acid. There's also the purine theory. I have been eating sardines, the highest purine food on earth. That is stupid. It's probably just that, if I just remove that, but what am I gonna stock up in the apocalypse? What am I supposed to eat out here? That was my backup plan. Sorry for the voiceover episode today. I'm completely camouflaged. You can't see me. So I can do whatever I want. Now it's unlike me to completely change my whole diet philosophy overnight and head down a new path disappointing my previous audience. I would never do that to you. I am leaning towards trying a keto-based, balanced with just vegetable juice, and meats. Just lamb meat, celery, cucumber, lemon juice. We, we head down that path. I'm just worried that it's gonna suck really bad. Cause I, like, I feel great right now because I just had cantaloupe juice. I got all the energy in the world to come out here, boom. But then what? What's gonna happen? It's gonna have to be like green juice, then a meat meal, and then come out here all heavy and encumbered smelling like a goat scaring off the predators predators attracting the predators not that they could see me completely camouflaged oh man good luck spotting me you'll see me at the last second when it's too late that was the lamest karate chop i've ever done this camera got in the way so it was like a that was sad but so I'm thinking of keto, will I have enough energy and will I be hydrated? Because I'm hydrated with all these juices. I might have to do two green juices a day. That doesn't sound right. Green juice, then a meat meal, and then wait several hours? Will that green juice start causing problems with the previous meat meal? That is the real question. That's the question. You know what's funny? I might have just bruised my toe somehow. Like, I go for these long walks. These sandals are getting a little thin now. I've had them since Thailand. I ordered them in Thailand. We walked all over the earth, our flat earth. Miles in Kuala Lumpur, Penang Island. Like, we walked everywhere. What's with the we? I don't get it either. But these are finally getting a little thin. They lasted a good five years. That's fantastic. So I just ordered another pair, but I might have just stepped on a rock bruised my foot and now I'm going keto. Like it makes no sense. Nothing I do ever follows the path. But I'd be lying if I didn't say my brain wasn't curious of what it would be like to be operating on a higher level. I just remember that keto clarity. Sometimes I had brain fog on keto, but for the most part it was better. I think I have to revisit that and see. Maybe it's worse than it is right now. That would suck. But I do feel like loopy and just my brain doesn't function right. It's annoying. It's the sugar. That and I do feel kind of hungrier. That as soon as I have a juice, I just get hungry. And I'm like, 
wanting to eat more and then I eat this meaty meal and then I want the honey again I I feel like I didn't have these cravings when I was on just keto I would just eat my meal I never thought about food ever I could fast I haven't fasted since that 90 day dry fa <laughs> wow that'd be a long one that'd be a first 90 hour dry fast that killed me I think I just since that day I was like never again will we fast I want to get back into just the, the short ones a little 36 hour fast here and there a little 48 hour I haven't had the desire because I'm starving One thing I'm worried about is honey is my new allergy hack. I'm starting to get it. I can feel it sneezing. Let's just see if this cures it immediately. Mm -hmm. I already feel the relief. I can feel it. I'm not a sugar addict. So hopefully I can do keto with honey just enough to keep the allergies at bay. And we push on. What do you think, keto, good idea or bad? Let me know down below. There better be 100% agreement that it's the right path and nothing could go wrong. So keto, back off the sardines, heal my stub toe, get memory back, remember where I live, that might be nice. We'll, we'll, we'll head it from there. Head it from there after you thumb off the video. Thumbs down if you bought a bicycle to walk it everywhere because you're afraid of trails. It's a mountain biking path. Just grab a sack while you're at it. I mean, grow a sack. See, I need keto back. I can't just say things, just string random words together and hope it makes a sentence. It usually doesn't. It's a problem, and I'm going to fix it. So, thank you for subscribing and enjoying that journey to follow. Just a side rant. I, I want to add MD or doctor to my name, so maybe YouTube will throw me out there again. It seems. I was just looking up everybody. Just a little side rant here. I was looking up on Social Blade, all like YouTubers that I remember, Vegan Gains, Simnet, it seems everybody, all of us, were suffering with like pretty low, pathetic views, like 200 to 600,000. Whereas like most of us used to be in the millions at some point. And then I looked up a couple doctors, Dr. Bird, 30 million views a month. Ow. And Carnivore MD, little Paul Saladino in your life, 10 million. Uh, something happened with that YouTube algorithm. They favor doctors, so vegetable police MD for monkey diet. That's what it stands for. It is monkey diet, or is that bearing false witness? Oh, Lord save me! I'm gonna leave. <laughs>